Sam, the cooking guy, is cooking up, cooking up some amazing dishes for Cinco de Mayo. Heather Lake is live at the Little Italy Food Hall with what he's making. I saw his ingredient list he posted yesterday to cook with him today. I think I have almost everything. Ah, okay. Well, here's the deal. Shelly, this is like specifically for you. Oh. Like I get here and he's like, I've got a breakfast specifically for Shelly so that she can have it because we always talk about chorizo. Sham, Sam loves using chorizo and now we have one for you, especially for you, the soy rizo. Soy rizo. Because she, you know, she's like no beef, no pork. Um, so this is perfect for you. Perfect for all the people who want to do. Um, it's not vegan, but because you, you're using an egg, right? Uh, yeah. 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 But yeah. you know, it takes out some of the other uh, ingredients that some people don't eat. Yeah. So there we By go. the way, this is uh, Shali's second time this week with me okay. with soy rizo. How did oh. it get so lucky? We did tostada on Monday. We're doing this today, and I'll say it again for people that are at home that might not want to eat pork or beef. Soy chorizo. Is a really good option. Really Where do good. You get and it? by do the you way, know? Oh, I mean, yeah. you probably get yours from someplace special. No, re regular supermarket. Okay. Vaughn's, Ralph's, they all have it. Okay. So it looks like regular chorizo, but it's made of soy. So we'll put this in. Yum. The pan's hot. Already in the pan are some mushrooms, okay. some onions, and some peppers. Is this how you celebrate Cinco de Mayo? You just get up early in the morning and start it all? No, uh, you would have slept them if it wasn't no, for no. me. No, no, I'm, I'm way <laughs> up by this point. So look at so we've got those in there. We're also okay. going to add these are hash browns Ooh, or our tots that we that we've broken up because well because you can't put them in whole yeah. because we want them to permeate the entire thing. So while all this is getting hot and okay. doing its job beautifully, and you know look this is I say all the time on our YouTube channel and everything I do. Yeah. Don't eat the same thing all the time. Yeah. A breakfast taco, especially on Cinco de Mayo. Mm-hmm. And I'm here with. Uh, Fox Cinco, right? <laughs> yes, Fox indeed. Cinco. I like that. Fox Cinco. I'm uh, going to start calling it that. Change it up a little bit. Okay. okay, so now we add an egg. We just crack one egg in like this. I like a little salt and pepper always Ooh, because it okay. just makes everything better. Okay. And now we start to mix. And just as it starts to set, I'll pull oh, off man. the heat for a second. I'm going to okay. reach behind you and get some Monterey Jack cheese. And now's the time to add the cheese, right? And now this all melts gorgeously. I feel like someone could have been following us at home and literally making this. It's I so, think so simple. I think this is one of the easiest things to do. It's not complicated. And honestly, with the exception of the soy chorizo, probably uh, most people have all these ingredients sitting on their pantry, on their shelves, in their fridge right now. So now we build this. So now we okay. take one of our gorgeous, gorgeous custom flour tortillas that I think are maybe the best in town. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the flour tortilla. You know this about Thank me. Oh, I, I know. love so not not tacos is where we are right now. By the way, I want everyone to know because as things are reopening, people are like, hey, what's going on there? How are things working? Food hall officially Sam Burgers is open and the bar is reopened oh, here. Is open. So you guys the will be kind of partying tonight, Cinco de Mayo. You can basically walk around the food hall, get whatever kind of fiesta you want to get and then grab a drink over by the bar. Well, um, you're doing a great right job. Across from us. You should work for us. I'm trying. If this, I mean, if this uh, reporter thing I doesn't work out, moonlight as a bartender. We got I'm a spot. Do we have any room for her? Yeah. I got a yes from uh, okay. HR over there. We do. <laughs> and then we finish. You know, I can't help but put something green on top of everything. Yeah. So I love green onions on Ooh. this. If you want to leave them out, don't because they're really good. Okay. But look, a classic, not not tacos, oh. breakfast. Taco, so soy good. chorizo. Are you putting this on the menu? It's on the menu. Okay. By the way, not just for breakfast, you can have this any time of the day. Oh, good. Okay. I saw a guy the other day, he had three of these on his plate, and I walked by and I go, no variety? You don't change it up, have Ooh, a natural hot chicken to taco? Do. He that's goes, hard. this is what I want, okay. this is what I love, and I eat them all the time. So um, I saw you guys on DoorDash actually the other yeah, day, yeah, and yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. all right, okay, um, you can get this many ways. You can stop in, you can order out, you can go sit out here and listen to live music. Um, the, this the, is the piazza is open, become, it's alive, it feels really it does. good. And yeah. it's become one of kind of my favorite um, places during the pandemic that's like, you know, it just feels normal, which I, I'm like a huge fan of, you know, just everyone trying, trying their hardest to feel like life is a little bit normal again. It's so. exactly right. I love walking out of one of the restaurants and seeing you and Sean just sitting at a table <laughs> or walking through on your way to a restaurant. I like it. Look, Little Italy is really the heart and soul of the restaurant, the community in San Diego. There's so much variety. Yeah. Food hall all the way up to super high-end kind of stuff. If you can't find something here, yeah. I would argue there could be something wrong with you. Yeah. <laughs> well, burgers, tacos. We're going to make some burgers coming no, up in the next hour. We got a great burger coming up. Um, I am saving my appetite for that.
You're gonna love it. Like I don't eat hamburgers like you know 24/7, but when I do. It is from Sam. I promise you that. Um, we got some good cooking coming up at nine o'clock. Are you ready at the breakfast taco? Thumbs up, mm, one, Charlie Zamarodi. Yes, two thumbs up. Anything, two thumbs up. Anything that Sam Sam does, I do two thumbs up. I know. Two fingers it's up. It's foolproof. I love it. it. Oh, <laughs> I give it a ten. I love Sam. Thank you, Heather.